I, f I hope this bus is recording. Things crash. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, you might have missed a few bits of that. I do apologize for that. This thing, my recording software can be a bit fidgety because I record this stuff on my phone. It's a rocket, what do you expect? We lost her into the clouds. We didn't have much visibility, but we did have liftoff. The two boosters now provide night for a longer trajectory at an ever higher velocity, as the DDO says all is working perfectly on board. Our mass at liftoff, 775 tons. And to get that sort of weight off the ground, you need a lot of push. And push we have. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. That's two and a half tons per second burning in each booster, plus the core stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel again every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see in less than a minute. The DDO says all is working fine on board. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail she hits east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight La phase, the single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons in just over two minutes. In about uh, 20 seconds, they will be extinguished, and they're the first to be jettisoned, and you'll hear that from the DDO, and you'll see that, of course, on the animation as well. This first flight phase, using both cryogenic cold fuel and storable propellant, cryogenic offering certain advantages over storable, better and more precise performance, and it's mo There we have right on time, separation of the two boosters. The DDO confirms it. But her from shore into a protected area, give you an idea of what it looks like from the onboard camera. There is a this second isn't booster live, by the way. This to just the port side of, of the ship, one. which is out of camera range. French Guiana was in part La chosen as a base for its opening on the water, launches That's posing no threat to there. the local population. No we'll have more on that coming up. For now, on the bottom of your screen, take a look on the left, our altitude approaching 100 kilometers. That's and the on the right, our speed. We've passed 2 kilometers per second. The speed Great we need speed for us. satellite separation, roughly 9 kilometers per second. So keep your eyes on the numbers. That's and when near the region of 9 kilometers per second, we're getting near satellite separation. 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 Yeah, I was thinking if you're ditching the satellites separation this early, given by two pyrotechnic systems, one then horizontal you're and one sh vertical, they're cords that actually remove the fairing by a small contained explosion, and we emphasize that's the how the course. stages are separated. We can separate well, the fairing now because we are out of the dense layers of the atmosphere, over a hundred kilometers up. There's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. Also, we can discard any dead weight when possible to maximize the launcher's performance. The fairing weighs two and a half tons, so it's good to get rid of it when we can. Ariane 5 is the heavy lift launcher. The two other members of the family, Soyuz, you know, lifting middle-sized payloads, two and three tons, and Vega, the light lift vehicle for missions of one ton, roughly. With its family of launch vehicles, Ariane Space is the reference providing launches of any mass to any orbit at any time. And Ariane Sp Space is part of Europe's space effort, which is a three-way affair among ESA, CNES, and Ariane Space, and you find them all here along with the customers. Ariane Space is in charge of operating the family of launchers and of marketing launch services and the Ariane program. ESA, in a nutshell, funding new programs, and the CNES 
overseeing coordination of all space La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage reste calme. Well, I think I might only, only watch until the main course operation is lack of storage space. I do apologize for that. Soon to be Ariane 6, Soyuz and Vega, soon to be the updated Vega C. Ariane Space also managing the launcher and the satellite campaigns. We have the first of many films coming up for you now. We'll have films on both customers later on. For now, phenomenal. on the community of Ariane cities, highlighting towns that are part of the Ariane program. se cumplen 500 años de la primera expedición de la Vuelta al Mundo que partió de Sevilla, esa Vuelta al Mundo de Magallanes y el Cano. Entonces Sevilla era la capital económica del mundo. El próximo año, 2019, a la presidencia de la comunidad de Ciudad de Jarián la ostentará la ciudad de Sevilla. Es una enorme oportunidad y también un orgullo el centrar el interés de todo el sector aeroespacial en nuestra ciudad. Desde 2012 pertenecemos a la comunidad de Ciudad de Jarián en ella hemos trabajado con otras ciudades para intentar que la inversión pública y privada haga del sector aeroespacial uno de nuestros motores de la economía. Para nosotros la oportunidad de esta presidencia de la comunidad de Ciudad de Jarián tiene también su broche de oro con la celebración de un consejo de ministros de la Agencia Espacial Europea en nuestra ciudad, en donde además se van a discutir importantes inversiones para los próximos años en este sector. Estoy convencido de que los debates que se produzcan, las reflexiones sobre la financiación y los modelos de inversión para estos proyectos van a hacer de Sevilla, sin duda, el centro de la atención mundial en la industria aeroespacial. followed uh, our launch last December where we had as a matter of fact another GSAT we also had a delegation from the community of Ariane cities from Les Mureaux, French town tonight Sevilla in English Seville of course CVA is a non-profit outfit aiming to strengthen cooperation among cities and organizations involved in Europe's space programs we meanwhile are in the second powered flight phase the single engine core stage burning now the boosters have done their job another minute to go before it shuts down during the film on uh, seville we were picked up by our first downrange tracking station we're going to go to a launch replay the first of what we hope are many you can relive those very exciting moments eight minutes ago we have uh, cameras at several of the yeah, observation so sites the here across the base. And uh, throughout the broadcast and at the end, we will be bringing you replays like this one is another one from closer viewpoint. The Natal station, the downrange tracking station run by Brazil's defense department, it sees a lower stage burnout and separation. All of has been designed to be followed from the ground, of course. We're waiting for confirmation of the shutdown de of the lower stage and its separation there you can see falling back into the Atlantic and the ignition of the upper stage. There's three commands given by the onboard computer in about 13 seconds. The lower stage falls back into the Atlantic off the Gulf of Guinea. Which brings us into the third and final powered flight phase, the single upper stage engine that'll burning until plus 25 minutes, another That's 16 minutes roughly. Right. And what is the job of the upper stage, you may be asking? That is a good question. The upper stage takes the satellites to their injection point, positions them for separation, and then releases them. That's its propulsion rule. 
but she also has a second role, which comes during the ballistics phase, is what they call the non-powered flight phase. And we'll have more on that coming up. For now, turning to our passengers, a film, our first look at Hellsat 4 SGS-1. Regarding in particular Saudi stationary satellite one in Asat 4, INSPAS is proud for having been selected by Arabsat in 2015 to launch this satellite which has been manufactured by Lockheed Martin based on a modernized, well-known A2100 bus. The satellite will be located at 39 degree east of orbital location. It will provide care band spot beams, communication services for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and will offer advanced care band beam communication services for El Asad, the Arabsat subsidiary. I would like to thank all the teams that have been involved in this program. First, of course, our customer Arabsat, who always relied on our NSPAS with a dedicated, very efficient teamwork all along the program. Secondly, CAX and El Asad teams, who were always proactive and helpful during this smooth campaign and also in resolving issues when needed. And finally, Lockheed Martin, who always contributed with very constructive approaches and experienced, dedicated team. Ariane Space has been serving the Mideast since 1985 when it launched Arabsat 1A, the region's very first satellite. Ariane Space also orbited the first satellites for Egypt, 1998, La Libya, 2007, the United Arab Emirates in 2011, and Qatar in 2013. HS4 SGS-1 is the 11th Arabsat launched by Ariane Space and the 22nd to be orbited for the Mideast. Another look now for more on the satellite. Our power to communicate is the very basis, the essence, of human civilization. Satellites unlock the ability to reliably connect from across the most remote places, transforming our understanding of the world and the way we live, work, and cooperate on a global scale. From the ancient times, Greece and Cyprus were the bridge of civilizations and the crossroads of trade between Middle East, Africa, and Europe. Our ambition is Hellasa to play this role, to be the window and the step of Middle East and Africa to Europe. Hellasat 4 is a powerful addition to our network and a major milestone to our business plan. It brings new capacity that will enable our existing and new customers in broadcasting, mobility, and private data networks. Hellasat 4 will be placed in our orbital slot at 39 degrees east. The goal is to complement the extensive coverage of Hellasat 3, our latest satellite, which was launched 19 months ago and provide in-orbit backup solutions to our customers. Our vision is to offer high-quality, cost-effective satellite service that will enable our customers to grow their business in the most remote areas. Hellasat 4 is the largest commercial satellite that Lockheed Martin built to date. It has electrical passion with high-performance electrical propellers and powered by the Noble Gazine. It features 20 kilowatts sun burners and a weight mass of more than 6 tons, achieving a lifetime of more than 20 years. The last set 4 will be launched by Area 5 in VA-247 Area Space Mission, keeping the great experience experience Cassat 3 back in 2017. The satellite covers Europe, Middle East, and South Africa with KU and KA payload. In Europe, the satellite will expand Halassat capability with 22 additional KU, FSS, and BSS transponders. In Middle East will provide six additional transponders, which can be used to provide 100% redundancy to Halassat 3 in the area. In South Africa, it will expand Halassat capability with six additional transponders, addressing the need of satellite capacity in the area. The satellite will be monitored and controlled by a team of expert fully certified engineers through Halassat hot redundant facilities in Greece and Cyprus. A properly designed, built, and launched segment requires a respectively advanced level of flight operations so as to achieve the maximum of the satellite lifetime and the best of the service provisioning to the satellite customers. Offering premium satellite services since 2001, Halassat premiered with Halassat 2 
positioned in 39 degrees east orbital position. After the successful launch of Halasat 3 in 2017, Halasat is now ready to welcome Halasat 4, the new addition to our fleet, offering unprecedented capacity to our already extensive network. The universe is expanding. So are we. While you were watching the film, we were picked up by our next downrange tracking station, Ascension Island, tiny island in the South Atlantic. Eleven minutes to go in the upper stage burn. Arabsat, the direct client for both satellites, founded in 1976, headquartered in Riyadh. Two satellite control centers, one in Riyadh, one in Tunis, serving more than 80 countries across the Mideast, Africa, and Europe. Another look now at our first passenger with more on CAXT. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. King Abdulaziz, City for Science and Technology. CAXT is keen in investing in the technology of the future, which led to the creation of the Advanced Research Program. The program consists of several joint centers of excellence with prestigious U.S. academic and industrial entities, including MIT, Stanford, Caltech, University of California, Berkeley, and Boeing. Each center has been created to cover a strategic domain of interest that is vital to the development and prosperity of the kingdom, such as the energy, water, mobility, and health domains. Energy has always been critical to Saudi Arabia. Roaring growth in domestic oil consumption imposes challenges in finding other means of producing efficient energy. Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the world with no natural bodies of water. It is now beginning to feel the impact of rapidly rising water demand, which requires innovating in new water technologies. The kingdom has capitalized on its massive fossil fuel resources by successfully building a petrochemical powerhouse that is recognized worldwide. With this edge, it is crucial to keep up with the evolution in this field by innovating in advanced material and manufacturing. Rapidly evolving technologies, along with demographic and economic changes, are expected to alter the healthcare system worldwide. This demands an extensive effort to advance health technologies. The population of Saudi Arabia is growing rapidly. Major Saudi cities face increasingly severe traffic congestion and accidents and deteriorating air quality. Developing new smart mobility solutions in the kingdom is crucial to reduce these effects. Space applications are fundamental tools for bringing sustainable development throughout the world. Saudi Arabia is investing in space and astronautics technologies to strengthen its position in telecommunications, disaster management, agriculture, environmental protection, and natural resource management. Saudi Arabia is taking the challenge of finding innovative methods to produce fresh food to its citizens in a place that is scarce freshwater resources. Acquisition de la Information and communication de technology is the new source of economic growth and development around the world. Nowadays, ICT is the enabler of all other domains. Every human-made system begins and ends with the environment. The harsh desert environment of Saudi Arabia demands that engineered systems be especially resilient to survive such conditions. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. Ariane 5 continues to function flawlessly. Ariane Space coming off a very good year in 2018. We spoke briefly with Stefan Israel about it. 11 launches we launched in every month except in yes, February and May, but we month. launched twice in November and twice in December. 11 launches, four double launches, telecom satellites, navigation, space science, earth observation, satellites went to geostationary transfer orbit and sun synchronous orbit. When I said area and space flies to all orbits, I meant it. Next up, a second film on our second passenger, this time on the prime contractor Lockheed Martin. I'm sorry, then I'll just send this here. That was launch of BA-247 and Boston 25. Goodbye.